Oh yeah. So I mean, for those that happen to know me, they know that flaky tests are a big topic of of mine. I never shut up about about flaky tests. Um, but uh, the thing is, like flaky tests are not only a, a major annoyance or something that we as testers have to deal with. They're actually a huge the problem that can sort of bubble up to the whole organization, right? Because if you just know that, all right, this test just acts up, I'm going to ignore it. You're going to create that sort of alert fatigue for yourself and not only for yourself, but for the whole team. And it's sort of a catastrophe waiting to happen because uh, sometimes you might feel like, yeah, I mean, if this test was really failing, if this functionality was really not working, our testers would tell us already, uh, which I mean, I guess it's fine, but one day they will tell you (laughs) and you'll have a huge incident uh, on uh, in production, which is something you do not want. Now, another problem with flaky tests is just they're so annoying to fix, right? Because you have this problem of, well, I run them locally, they seem to pass and then you go to CI and just randomly fail. Uh, So then you try to dig in, you spend a couple of hours trying to find out what the hell is wrong with this uh, and you finally find the problem or what uh, what at least you think might be the problem. So how do you validate that? Well, Playwright team is actually very aware of this problem that testers have and uh, has created this beautiful flag called repeat each. So not only if you knew about this one, but it's really useful to sort of burn in your test or sort of stress test your test uh, and making sure that you haven't only stabilized your test, but you can actually test whether that test is really stable. So repeating the, the test or repeating each of your tests a couple of times might give you that extra confidence. Now, of course, as I said, if you do things locally, that's and that's one story but you take things into your ci it may be a whole another story so i have here an example of how you may set up a special pipeline for yourself to really test whether even on ci things are stable and i know this text might be a little bit hard to read uh, so let me go to the uh, next slide where i sort of break it down so if you're familiar with github actions you should already be familiar with this syntax, it's a YAML uh, file, but in here what I'm doing, instead of running a pipeline on a push or a pull request or some of the traditional uh, approaches, what I'm doing here is I'm setting the, uh, the action to run on a workflow dispatch. So what this allows you to do is to go to GitHub to your actions, select uh, your workflow, the one that you're interested in, and manually trigger that. So that's the workflow dispatch that we're looking at. And when you are triggering that, I actually forgot to put a screenshot for (laughs) for that one. But when you trigger that, you can basically say run this workflow and you can input uh, uh, some inputs in there, right? So you can specify, for example, a path to the file you want to test and how many tests you want to run, uh, run. I've actually used this in the past And it's really, really useful to make sure that the fix that you applied does actually work. Uh, So the second part of this fix will be the, oops, uh, will be the npx playwright test part, right? Where those inputs from that workflow dispatch are going to be added to your script. So it's npx playwright tests, your path that you have put into the uh, workflow dispatch uh, input field and then repeat each, how many times, whatever the number you feel is uh, uh, gives you enough confidence. Uh, so that's how all of that would look like. All of the extra lines that I put here are the, the traditional setup, you know, the checkout and setting up the node version and installing dependencies and play right browser, etc. Uh, the really important part is just the workflow dispatch and the NPX play right test with the arguments uh, put in. So that's how you can test for stability of your uh, of your uh, of your uh, flaky test fix